The governor of Kogi State, Idris Wada, has described the first year of his administration as torturous and very challenging, assuring the people that his administration is committed and focused on the implementation of the transformation agenda. He pointed out that his administration has started out on a solid foundation with the establishing of a think tank which produced a blueprint on, with a clear vision and mission for the transformation of the state. Well, of Kogi State. This is the governor's first official assignment since returning to work after the accident that claimed the life of one of his aides. Governor Wada highlighted some serious challenges that confronted the state in quick succession and expressed gratitude and appreciation on behalf of the state government and people to the president, good luck Jonathan, the federal government and NEMA for their support and generous financial and material donation towards the flood relief effort. The unprecedented flood disaster which devastated nine local government areas of the state, displacing close to a million people and destroying their houses, farms, possessions, and livelihood. Indeed, the past one year has been a watershed in the life of our state. I feel exceptionally humbled by the affectionate spirit demonstrated by various religious organizations, groups, and individuals for the prayers they organize throughout the state for me and the others involved in the accident. He recalled the security challenges and the unfortunate incident that led to the killings of 20 worshippers at the Deeper Life Church by some unknown assailants in Okehi local government area of the state, which almost threw the state into anarchy and condoled with the families of those who lost their lives in the incident. One major benefit of the synergy between the state government and the various security agencies is the elimination of the ugly incidents of thuggery throughout the state. We have also achieved a clear reduction in the, in the number of armed robbery and bank robbery incidences throughout the state. We have tried in the face of these challenges and limited financial resources to record some modest achievements within this one year through the programs that we have initiated or inherited and executed. The judgment of our performance belongs to you. Governor Wada, however, explained that as at the time of this report, his administration had completed a record of 169 projects spread across agriculture, education, health, tourism, security, human capital development, road construction and water supply.